The name that has NFL and college scouts drooling, Arch Manning. The excitement surrounding the young Manning has surpassed that of any high schooler in history as a member of football royalty. Is he really worthy of all the hype? Or has the rise of social media, along with the fact that he is Peyton and Eli's nephew, sparked a hype train that's gotten out of control and he won't be able to stop it? Let's find out. The grandson of Archie Manning and nephew of Super Bowl champion quarterbacks Peyton and Eli Manning, Arch Manning has undoubtedly established himself as the most well-known high school recruit in the country since LeBron James in the early 2000s. He is, at the very least, the high school quarterback who's garnered the most attention since Trevor Lawrence, with pressure only building up more and more. It's challenging to determine just how good Arch Manning will be at the collegiate level. That doesn't mean trying isn't worthwhile. Because of his last name, Arch Manning, the grandson of Archie, the son of Cooper, and the nephew of Peyton and Eli, has drawn attention from recruiting boards for a number of years. The buzz surrounding the next great Manning quarterback is certain to reach unprecedented heights now that his senior year of high school is nearing and his much-awaited college decision has been made. And he's proven on the field that he's worthy of that attention. If we look at rankings, Manning was giving a score of 1. He joins these players as only seven players to receive a perfect score. Quinn Ewers, Jade Vion Clowney, Robert and Kemdish, Rashawn Gary, Vince Young, and Ernie Sims. That's saying something. Manning would tie for the top six recruits if his rating stayed at 1.0 during his recruiting period, which we'll find out at the end of 2023. He signed a national letter of intent with Texas, putting an end to a frenzied recruitment that included several top competitors. He's enrolled in the most closely watched freshman season in recent memory of collegiate football. Those who are around Manning on a daily basis are in awe of his athleticism, arm talent, better mechanics, and footwork as he prepares to join Texas. His coaches continue to emphasize his work ethic and personal development as two qualities that may indicate the next great quarterback. At 6'4 and 215 pounds, he has a great build. And at the next level, he has the potential to develop another 10 to 15 pounds. Note how he increases his rushing totals each season over the past three years, demonstrating above average agility and adequate movement as a runner. He seems to be able to prolong plays with his feet and has good pocket awareness and presence. Experts think he has sufficient running range to warrant respect in down and distant situations and shows good foot agility and plays tempo in his drop while displaying clean feet in the pocket. With excellent arm talent that allows him to complete every throw in the pocket on the field, he demonstrates the capacity to play quickly and drive the ball down the field. Experts also note that he excels as a mid-range passer, with the capacity to throw the ball consistently with accuracy and on time while playing with anticipation. He's also an excellent deep ball thrower who displays excellent touch and ball placement to find open receivers. But when under pressure, Manning occasionally plays hurriedly, which impairs his ability to make accurate decisions in the short to intermediate range of the field. So he'll need to keep getting better at choosing the right choice under stress because he tends to force passes when the clock is ticking down. Apart from that, Manning plays the game with excellent intuition and awareness, displaying the ability to command and traverse the game at a very high level, in addition to having all the physical tools sought at the quarterback position. Manning, a senior at Newman who's entering his fourth season as a starter, should be ready to contribute right away at the next level. Yep, he's expected to be an All-American candidate at the next level and could hear his name called first in the NFL draft. But is it okay to compare a rising high school senior to NFL players who have won multiple Super Bowls, gone number one overall, and earned All-American honors? In a regular case, not at all. However, when you are related to Peyton and Eli, having the last name Manning comes with the territory. Aside from the fact that he has them to help in his development, it seems like Arch Manning is already comparing favorably to his uncles. Arch Manning started as a starter from the first day at Isidore Newman High School, a private school in New Orleans, which neither of his uncles were able to do. That's right, Eli and Peyton were unable to reach that feat. Consider Arch Manning's evaluation, who was a folk hero at Ole Miss and with the NFL's New Orleans Saints. As if that weren't enough to start an unstoppable hype wave, 2019's Indianapolis Star quoted the family patriarch as saying that Arch probably a bit ahead of them as a freshman. You think? 
In addition to being the top quarterback of the class of 2023 and the best player in his year, Arch Manning is destined to live up to his namesake. He can take the Longhorns to a level of dominance in college football and prominence they haven't experienced in more than a decade. Or can he? Seems like some people aren't convinced. The consensus among pundits is that Arch Manning is the best recruit for the 2023 college football season, but one well-known analyst disagrees. The five-star quarterback at Isidore Newman School in New Orleans and nephew of Super Bowl winners Peyton and Eli Manning recently declared his commitment to Texas. But Mike Farrell, the godfather of recruiting and former national recruiting director of rivals, claims that Manning's image is considerably boosted by his famous family. Along with Peyton and Eli, Cooper was another highly regarded high school recruit whose athletic career at Ole Miss was cut short by a spinal stenosis diagnosis. Grandfather Archie Manning, who was taken in the second round of NFL drafts in 1971, had a successful professional career. So, it's all in the name? As a junior last year, Arch Manning had 1,947 passing yards, 26 touchdown passes, and only four interceptions. He has accumulated 6,307 passing yards, 81 touchdown passes, and 18 interceptions in his three seasons as a starter. He scored 19 rushing touchdowns in his career, too. However, Manning had trouble against the dominant Lafayette Christian Academy in a 49-7 playoff defeat, completing only 7 of his 16 passes for 44 yards and throwing an interception. He did score a touchdown while rushing, if that counts. According to Farrell, Arch competes at a very low level. He hasn't advanced after a fantastic freshman season. And it just hasn't transferred when he's had to compete with others, especially in the playoff game where he looked dreadful. His words, not ours. Farrell continued by saying that while Manning is keeping a low profile this summer, other 2023 quarterbacks are making progress with their work. To him, and those who agree with him, Arch Manning is merely a superior high school quarterback who comes from a distinguished family. He's more like Marcus Jordan than Ken Griffey Jr. Farrell remarked, if his name was Arch Smith, he'd likely be a top three-star quarterback. But he also stated that Arch Manning deserves a second chance because of the natural talents he had as a Manning and the education he acquired from people like Archie, Cooper, Eli, and Peyton. Now, more throwing yards were averaged per game in his junior year than in his sophomore year, but his completion rate was a career low of 61.8%. The good part is that despite playing fewer games, he still managed to carry for 310 yards, the most of his career. But hey, you can't impress everyone. After Manning committed to Texas, the coach who recruited him thought that even if he weren't a Manning, he would be the best player on the team. The reason? His arm, mobility, and field vision, according to him. He's the top recruit for a reason. One that's nothing to do with the fact that his last name is Manning alone. Given his mental base, he should be light years ahead conceptually and in terms of football IQ. So, even though there's no way to be certain, if his last name wasn't Manning, he probably wouldn't be the top recruit overall. But there are several benefits to having the last name Manning, so he's got to make the best use of it. He may be the undisputed number one prospect, but not everyone agrees.